Welcome to My Body Fits. Today, I'm gonna to give you five reasons why you should do kettlebells if you're approaching, going through, or beyond menopause. Hi, I'm personal trainer and kettlebell coach Mel Anderson. Welcome to my channel and the first in my series of bite-sized videos where I give you some top tips in 10 minutes or under, hopefully, to help you start thriving instead of just surviving this amazing time of life. If you enjoy this video, please like it, drop me a comment below, subscribe to my channel and click the bell to be notified when I put new stuff out. If you're looking for something to complement your workouts that will keep those niggles and aches away, my free gift to you is my Stretch and Rise series, daily mobility routines that are short and simple and will soon have you jumping out of bed in the morning without the moans and groans. Simply follow this URL or click the link in the description to get access straight away. Okay, let's kick off this bite-sized series with one of my absolute passions, kettlebells. Specifically, why you should train with them if you're anywhere from peri to post menopause. I got my first set of bells in 2008, but I started taking a bit of a serious interest in them in around about 2016 when I worked in a gym where they were featured heavily. Ooh, pardon the pun. Six years on, I still love kettlebells. That's really saying something, as my attention span for things normally lasts maximum of a couple of years. But if that's not enough to persuade you, here's my top five reasons why you should get one and start swinging straight away. Kettlebells are a great tool for resistance training. And resistance training or weight training is so important for women at any age, but especially for those of us going through menopause. Osteoporosis is one of the biggest concerns in menopause as our bone density can diminish with the lowering of estrogen. What this means to us on a day-to-day -day basis is that we are at higher risk of breaking bones as we get older. Bones can become so weak that even mild stress like bending or coughing can cause a fracture. It can cause loss of height, and therefore changes in your posture and long-term pain. Now the fitness industry is full of contradictions and people arguing over what kind of exercise is best for this, that and the other, but you would be hard pushed to find anyone disagreeing that the kettlebell is a great tool to build stronger bones, muscles and joints. In fact, there's a great study that reports increases in bone density after a 12-week kettlebell program. Kettlebells bridge the gap between weight training and cardio training. Now, if you've ever swung a kettlebell, you know it really gets your heart racing, even with a lighter bell. And this happens in a fairly short amount of time, so you don't need to go at it for hours to feel the result. They're great for supporting a healthy heart and you can really get a good sweat on. Kettlebells give you an all over body workout. I don't know of any other tool that gives you that full body feeling the way that kettlebells do. A simple endurance swing session will leave every part of your body feeling fantastic. And you can get a huge variety of workouts with just one bell. So you don't need to invest in tons of equipment. You can do a really effective heart raising, full body workout in less time. The efficiency of the kettlebell is perfect for women at this time of life who are often super busy with all the responsibilities that we have or maybe don't always have the energy for long drawn out workouts. I love a shorty and I share lots of these types of workouts on this channel, so be sure to check them out. And finally, my top favorite, most important reason for training with kettlebells, confidence. I cannot put into words how this humble hunk of iron has transformed the confidence of so many women I've trained. But don't take my word for it. Here's what some of my clients had to say.
So there you have it. I could go on and on, but we're keeping this bite sized today. Now, if I've managed to persuade you that it's a good idea to get into kettlebells, here's a few videos to get you started. My kettlebell buying guide, the beginner's kettlebell series, and a swing tutorial. That's it from me this week. Thank you for joining me for this first bite-sized video. I'll see you again next week. My kettlebell guy in bide? Guy in bide? What is a guy in bide? Okay, let's check it out, baby. Let's check it out.